Hey guys, it's Jade from Boho Bookworm. Today I'm doing part of my June wrap up. I managed to read eight books throughout the month of June and I DNF'd one, but today, because I read three from one particular author, I thought I would break it up into just talking about this author's books in particular today. So, that is none other than B.A. Paris. The first book I read of hers was Behind Closed Doors. I bloody loved it, but let me tell you about it first. This is about a couple called Jack and Grace. Everyone seems to think they've got the perfect marriage, but you never really know what goes on behind closed doors. To all of their friends, they're so envied. They've got wealth, they've got health and love, but there's something not quite right. Grace is never without Jack, so it is impossible to get to know her. She never answers the phone when her friends call, she never goes out by herself, she doesn't accept fr like friends' offers to do anything with her. There's also bars on one of the bedroom windows, so is this really the perfect marriage, or is it the perfect lie? You guys, this book was so addictive, I could not put it down. I was so absorbed in the whole story. It had me on the edge of my seat. What I found really interesting about this book is that it's not a mystery whatsoever. We know right from the very beginning who the baddie is, and believe me, he is a sinister, evil bastard. I, I absolutely hated him, and I know someone just like him, you know, they put on this facade of being this wonderful, perfect man, but really, they're just an absolute bloody arsehole. It is definitely a psychological domestic thriller focusing a lot on the suspense and the tension between the husband and wife. What I find so fascinating about a book like this and you know thriller genres in particular is that I've read a fair bit of horror lately. I, I've read you know a lot of possession stories and things that really should scare the shit out of me but this book scared me so much more. There are people like this guy out there that really exists and it, it you know it's petrifying that, that could actually potentially happen to you it just it seemed so real and it honestly spooked the hell out of me you just you've got to be so careful with who you trust these days it's such an easy to read book but it's and it's so entertaining but flipping hell like my nails were just bitten down to the quick when i was reading this i fell in love with all of the characters even the baddies you know not they're not exactly likable but they were all just so fleshed out and so vivid in my mind it was they were really real to me i just it was just so perfectly done ba paris's writing is just to me it's flawless i mean she doesn't have a flowery prose it's just, it just seems so effortless and i love that i will have to tell you there is a trigger warning for an animal being harmed in this book and I, I am very glad I persevered with it because it's such an excellent book, but it, it was really hard to stomach. I did give this book a four star review, not a five star. And the reasons for that is, I mean, firstly, Grace, the main character, she was just so naive and stupid and that really, really bothered me. She was just a very weak character, her personality trait was just very weak. I mean, she was also very fleshed out and real to me, which was great, but she just annoyed me. I also found that the, the ending was quite anticlimactic because it, it was just nowhere near as strong as the rest of the book was in in my mind, but you know, there's, there's gotta be a fault in this book somewhere, right? So that's, that's all there is. I highly, highly recommend this book. I absolutely loved it. The next book I read by this author is Bring Me Back. This is her latest release. Bring Me Back is about a young British couple called Finn and Layla, and they are busy driving through France. They stop for fuel. Finn goes in to go pay and leaves Layla in the car. When he comes back out, she's disappeared and she is never seen again. Fast forward 10 years and Finn is now moved on. He's happily engaged to Layla's sister. Their happy little bubble is about to pop though when his new fiance thinks that she sees her sister and his ex in a crowd of people. Then the couple starts to get things like cryptic messages and clues and stuff that only Layla could know about. So they start to really think that perhaps she has returned or whoever is responsible for her disappearance is starting to play games with them. This book is extremely extremely different to Behind Closed Doors. It's it's a far cry from it, definitely, and it, it focuses a lot more on mystery and intrigue, cryptic messages. It is still a domestic psychological thriller, 
and it has this very dark undertone to it, but it's just nowhere near as good as Behind Closed Doors, and I, oh, I just don't think anything ever will be, to be honest. I don't think I disliked the book as much as some people I know did. Some people really didn't like it, but I did have my problems with it. There's some people who, I've read their reviews and they said that they didn't find Behind Closed Doors believable, where I, I completely disagree with that. I think that it could definitely happen, the previous book, and I found that Bring Me Back was a, far more improbable. But the writing is still great and it's still full of intensity, so it's still a fun read, but at the end of the day, I was slightly disappointed because obviously that this book just blew my mind, so I ended up giving this one a three star review, but I will still, you know, I would recommend it because I just love this author. The last book that I read, I just finished today, and that is The Breakdown. Imagine that you are busy driving through this creepy road in the middle of a forest during a storm, it's a shortcut to get home, and even though your husband has always warned you about not going that way, you just decide that this is the option that you want to do. You can barely see through your windscreen because of the rain slashing down, uh, you know, the flashes of lightning. And then imagine you see a car pulled up onto the side and a woman standing alone alongside it. Would you get out the car and try and help her during a storm when you're a woman alone? No. If you do, I think you're completely stupid. If I was in that situation, I would maybe phone someone, like the, the police or the fire brigade or someone to go and help this woman, but not a fuck am I going to step outside it and try and help a stranger. But so this is now what happens. The next day she drives past, she doesn't stop. And the next day this woman's body is discovered and she, um, our main character in this whole story, she's in a situation where she's like, shit, like she could have stopped, she could have helped this woman and the guilt starts eating away at her. As psychological thrillers go, I did find this book quite mundane. It definitely didn't bring anything new to the genre, but if you're looking for just a fun and entertaining quick read, then that's what you're going to get with this book. I still really enjoyed it, I just feel like B.A. Paris just needs to play more to her strengths as a writer. Like, if, if this was a review based purely and solely on the author's writing, I would have given it a much better rating, but the story just fell flat for me here. It was honestly just a bit of a bore, you know, we've got the typical unreliable main character, she's suffering paranoia, she thinks she's gonna get early onset dementia, so you know, you can't trust a thing that she says. She's very flawed and she's having this nervous breakdown and just basically getting into like hysterics. Like I said, like that, it, it, it was entertaining and it was fun, but it was painfully predictable and as Abby from Crime by the Book says, she's got like an amazing crime blog and incredible Instagram page that I just am obsessed with, uh, she said that it, it's just not, it wasn't as, it didn't leave you as breathless as Behind Closed Doors did. It's so sad that we we do seem to use their, their debut novels to try and set the tone for the rest of them. It is sad, it's like Paula Hawkins, The Girl on the Train, and then her other one, what was it, like Into the Water. Nothing is ever going to beat The Girl on the Train, you need to kind of know that there's going to be a big difference. But yeah, I mean, unfortunately B.A. Paris's other two books did leave me disappointed. That said, I will definitely still read anything that this author writes. I just feel like if she plays more into her strengths, she is going to deliver us a book in the future that is just going to be so enjoyable and so fun and be a bit more unpredictable. B.A. Paris has this way of making her stories really get under your skin in such an enjoyable way. And I, I did appreciate how she let the story of the breakdown unravel. I, I did enjoy that, but yeah, yeah, I, I am excited to see what this author produces next. But so far, this is the one I, I loved it, but yes, that's, that's what I really have to say. I'll be back with you soon to tell you what other books I read throughout the month of June. Have a great day further, and I'll, yes, I'll talk to you soon. Bye!